Hello, now I'm going to show you how do you define the test cases. Okay, uh, so how do you implement the task associated uh, with the test case? So, what you need to do is just you pick this um, task and move it to the in progress task. So, it's the define the test cases for the story creator course execution. So, the main idea here is going to be that. Um, I want to describe what should be the behavior of this story. And since you are following this strategy of testing first, I'm going to describe this behavior before I even implement the, the, the story. Okay? So uh, since I just pick and assign it, I'm, I need to assign it to me. So I convert this note into an issue. And once it is converted into an issue, I can just assign it to me. And okay, so I'm responsible to finish this, uh, this task. So what I'm going to do now is in IntelliJ, I, I've opened the, the code, the backend code. And in the source, we have this source folder, which has two folders, two subfolders, main and test. So we're going to first go to the main, find the Java, and in this domain, we, we find the administration package, okay? Inside the administration package, what you're going to do, which actually I've done, is create an administration service. So this class is going to have a method for each story that's, that is going to be implemented for the administration functionality. So what I've done, I just create a method called create ad hoc course execution. Is a method that is empty because actually what I'm going to do at the end is to implement this functionality. Now I only need to have the, the method to refer it from the test okay, to, to, from the test code. Okay. Later I will enrich this method with the parameters and the return values. So, but now it's not really relevant to do that. So what I do next, I move to the tests package to Groovy, and in Groovy. What I've done, I created a similar package, administration service, when I do the tests of the service of administration. And create a class, just which, which goal, a test class, a Spoc test class, which goal is to test basically the create ad hoc course execution service, which is basically this service here. Okay? If you look at this, what I have here, so this class extends from X specification because it is a Spoc uh, test and defines a variable called admin service. So, and in the setup, basically, I initialize this variable with the administration uh, service. Then, what I've done is to define each one of the test cases. So, what I've done basically, so I thought about what should be the different contexts where I want the behavior to be tested, okay? And so in the, this context, basically, try to identify the most, uh, to have a good coverage, so to identify the, the most typical behavior that I want to verify that the, 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 the implementation is correctly implemented. So, in the code, what I've done is that let's look at each one of these test cases. So I have here nine test cases. And what I've done, I create in the name of the test case in, in Spock, which is uh, Groovy. So I can have methods with this name. I define the first one is the course exists and create execution course. So I'm going to need, when I'm going to implement this test, I need to define a context where the course exists I, and I'm going to create an execution course. So the course execution is created. Now, since the test is not yet implemented, I'm, I force the test to fail. I just say expect false. The next test case is a situation where both the course does not exist, neither the execution course execution. So in this case, I expect that both are created. Now the test is not yet implemented, so I just say that it expect full such, such that the test fails. The next test is a situation where the course execution and the course exist. 
So in this situation, I expect an exception to be thrown. But of course, now the test is going to fail. And the last, the last six tests is I'm going to verify if the parameters I'm providing are correct. Basically, if the course name is not empty, that is not blank, that the acronym, the execution course acronym is, is not empty, that the execution course acronym is not blank, and the same for the academic term and, uh, and, and the same for the academic term. In all these cases, I ex expect an exception to be thrown. So, what I've been um, doing, I've been basically specify what should be the behavior of the, uh, the story, this story that is the creation of uh, an ad hoc uh, execution course. And I just verify they define several uh, contexts where this can occur, that this, this method or this service is going to execute. Okay? Just finally, I can see that these tests fail, and to do that, I just can run the tests. Okay? And so to run the tests, I just run, and we'll see here that the tests are going to fail. So in the next step, what I'm going to do is basically to implement. So to make concrete implementation of all each one of these test cases. So it takes a while. I think it's almost it's parsing Java. Okay. Okay, now it's... Uh, it's running and we'll see that it's trying to execute nine tests, okay, but actually all the tests fail, of course, because I just expect false and when in, in, in Spock you have expected it should be true. Okay, okay, good work.